What's up, Adventure Family? Here we are driving down 95 South. Eventually, this will turn into I-11, which then turns into Boulder City Parkway, where you drive through the historic little town of Boulder City. What's nice about this trail is that you will not need to pay for the Lake Mead entrance fee because the trailhead begins before the fee area. All right, today we're doing the historic railroad trail. It's about a seven mile out and back hike. This is the parking lot. As you can see, it does get full. It is about eight o'clock in the morning. There's a nice thermometer over here. It says it's 104. I don't think it's that hot yet, but it's, it probably soon will be. So we're gonna get started. The parking lot does have facilities. However, it sinks. Say that again. They smell gross, I wouldn't go. She's not lying. They do smell pretty bad. So the entrance to the trailhead is right here. Just a dirt path you follow. It goes around that mountain. I'm not sure if you can see the people way off in the distance. But then eventually you go through some old railroad tunnels. Does that sound fun, girl? Yeah! Yeah. Sounds like fun. It does sound like fun. What's our slogan? Stay, on stay cool. Keep walking. And keep cool. Stay cool and keep walking. As I said, it's about 95 degrees out here, 8 o'clock in the morning. There is very just about zero shun, sun cover, except when you're in the shadow of the mountain over there. So bring lots of water. What else do they need to do, Enzo? Keep walking. Keep walking. Ella, what else do they need to bring? Lo lots of water. Lots of water. We, we, we recommend. And it's the 1st of September. Kind of like also, life. wear sunscreen. Pets are allowed on the trail. I believe bicycles are as well. It's a pretty flat trail. Not a whole lot of rocks in there. Seems like to be maintained pretty well. There again, bring lots of water. Some pretty views of Lake Mead. Here's the entrance to the hike, the trail. They do close this off, I believe, when it, if, if the temperatures are too hot to avoid people getting stranded and needing a rescue. As you can see, June through September, heat kills. Smile and wave. So there's five of these railroad tunnels. All in all, it's about three and a half miles, I think each way or so. At the end, it does take you down to the Hoover Dam Visitor Center area. But before that, there was like an old boneyard of the old Hoover Dam industrial parts that they use or got old or antiquated or something. And you can kind of tour the facility down there. We're not going to make it that far today because we have kids and it's warm out, but that's an option as well. Kids like to run in front of us. Gives us peace and quiet time. Tires them out. Daddy, can you show the camera this first? Daddy, show the camera. You guys see the, the camera? Oh, pretty purse, girl. Does that contain your first aid kit? Yep. Nice. Some of my puppy stuff. There's a rattlesnake. There is a rattlesnake. We didn't see a rattlesnake. Looks like we're coming to a fork in the road. If you want to stay on the railroad tunnel trail. You continue on to the left. The rock safe, huh? Does it feel cool in the shade, kids? Yeah. Does that breeze feel nice? Yeah. I know. 
I'm not, I'm not sure where that trail goes, but that's what the signs say. You can see how low the water level is by the toilet bowl ring on the rocks in the lake. I think it's down about 80 feet or so. Mommy is right there, rattlesnake. Mommy! Pickle rattlesnake. Pickle rattlesnake. They can easily go into rocks. You, just, does you, you guys know what this is called walking through here? What? A tunnel. No, uh, it's stuck to see. Cave. Close. Now there's rocks on one side, rocks on the other side. It's called a can. A what? Can. Can canyon. 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 A canyon. Ooh. We have beautiful views of the Lake Mead, though. Ooh. Ooh. What was that, Ella? Oh, a peacock. Nice. Think there's a small peacock out here? Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, ooh. Oh, heard another one. Oh, Ooh, what was that? I heard. Is that a bald eagle? Bald eagle. A bald eagle. Look at that. Pretty view though, kids, isn't it? The Emerald Green Lake. Whew. You guys hot? Yes. How long have you walked, do you think? 500 million miles. Maybe a mile? Yeah. It's a dock. Yeah, and the second tunnel, kids. Hey, okay. oh, I want to see if you have a dog. We don't want to scare the little doggy. Yeah, the little cars. See this big tunnel? Yeah. So this used to be a railroad track. Yeah. Me too. A train would come through here and okay. would deliver goods and materials to Hoover Dam when they were building the Hoover Dam in the late 30s. Oh. Yeah. So Blew up. No. What Nothing. Oh, they had to blow up some of the rock in order to uh, put the dam in and build the dam, but the Hoover Dam didn't blow up. Oh, what the dick? That would be very scary because all this water in the lake yeah. would flood into like the older city area and whatnot. And that wouldn't be fun for anyone. Yeah, and actually, when they first started making Hoover Dam and when they finished it, it flooded quite a few houses in, in Boulder City. They had the residents leave. Yeah. How tall do you think this tunnel is? Fifteen feet tall? That's maybe the sign will tell us up here. Yeah? No, it's not really dark. We can see. Digging the tunnels. Come watch out, girl. What? Digging the tunnels. So, see the train here? Yeah. That's what train went through these tunnels. A truck hauled rocks out of a tunnel there. Cool, huh? Yeah. See the like, yeah. See the cable attachments up there on the rock right out there around that area. Seven. Why do Why did they have to put it up there? No, there's eight. I don't know. So this tunnel's probably how tall do you think this tunnel is, Enzo? And it echoes. Echo. Echo. So this, tu this tunnel's probably 
50 feet tall, I'd say. 50 feet. And what's out in front of us? Can you see the second tunnel? So they had to dig this whole area out with dynamite and picks and shovels and stuff. Dynamite? Dynamite and picks and shovels, yeah. Why did it use dynamite? Well, it moves a whole lot of rock in a short amount of time. Oh. Yeah. Very cool, huh, kids? Yeah. And see, they reinforced this end of the tunnel with um, metal beams or wooden beams, looks like. So it doesn't fall down and collapse on things. But then how could they reach it up there? Ladders and stuff? Oh, but it's a 50 feet ladder. Well, yeah. This is not 50 feet. Look at that. Bet you it is. Look, look how big this wood is. Wow. Yeah, huh? Big thick pieces. Oh. Wait, where's statues? Yeah, there you go. Statues. Oh, I like that end though. Is that your dabber thing? You guys want to go on the second tunnel? Let's go check the second one. Let's go. Nice views of the lake. Sign? You gonna run up and read the sign? What's this in Santa? Okay. Some timbered tunnels. What's this? It's a bat. Mexican free tail bat. Cool. So look at this rock, kids. Mm -hmm. This rock looks different than the rock we had before in that other tunnel, huh? Yeah. So they put concrete. See, look, look at the bottom here. So they put concrete to go over the the walls of the cave. Yeah, huh? And this one doesn't have the attachments up yeah. top. But see those pointy things sticking out? Mm -hmm. yeah. I wonder what that was for. I think those were made the drill holes where they stuck the dynamite down in the cave. Yeah. That could be wrong. Is that why they uh, covered it? Yeah. Huh. Uh, so a fire destroyed this area, this cave tunnel, so that's why they covered it with concrete or whatever this is. Huh. See the side, kids? See how the side is different yeah. than that side? Yeah, wow. Maybe this is all volcanic rock. Yeah. How you guys doing? Ooh. You're taking a piece of volcano home. Nice. How tall is this tunnel, you think, kids? Is this, is this taller or shorter than the other tunnel? It's taller, huh? Way taller. Yeah, probably 60 feet, maybe. Yeah, I don't know. And look, at this, look at this metal tunnel. So that means the structure ahead, above us, may not be very stable. So they put this in to make sure if something falls, it doesn't land on anybody's head. Yeah. Morning. Okay. 
we, we go to the sign and we take a break and maybe turn around? Because we've, we've been hiking right now for about 43 minutes. So, so if we turn around, it'll be like an hour and a half we've been hiking. And it's hot out here. Yeah. I'm going to sit on this bench and watch the pretty view. Okay. Kids are going to sit on the bench and watch the pretty view. Made it to two tunnels. The third tunnel is right over there, but we're gonna call it a day. Turn around, not to risk anything because it's about probably 102 now, and the kids have been doing great. We enjoyed this hike. Probably better to come in cooler months. Let's see what the kids have to say. So kids, what do you guys think of the historic railroad tunnel system trail? It, it was pretty cool. I like the pretty views. Yeah. And I a got lot some of the rocks in here. And I got all the, I got some cool rocks. Nice. Now what do we say to our viewers? Thanks. Stay That's cool right. and keep walk, walking. And bring lots of water. Put electrolytes in here. Please Very nice I'll save these for you. All right, guys. Have a good day. Whew, we made it back and the temperature now says 106. Two seconds ago, we just said 107. There we go. Did you have fun, kids? Yes. Yeah.